It's the eve before the first day of school, and all through the night, the seniors of Beverly Valley High are preparing to make quite the sight. Outfits are finalized, poses are perfected, and some students are even rehearsing their back-to-school new personalities. Ah, back-to-school jitters, the memories it brings. That's right, I wasn't always a narrator. Prior to this, I too was a wee lad. Allow me to sidetrack a bit and tell you a bit about myself. It all started in 1965, when- Uh, sorry, I don't know what's going on here. I don't even know how to fix this, really. Oh, there we go. Wait, what the heck is that? Senior year is here, and so am I. Ready to strike, terror and fear. Rhea, Tootsie, you'll soon regret thinking you can treat me like dirt. The real question is, who will be the first that I hurt? <laughs> okay, I need to work on making my laugh more menacing. That was weird. Anyway, let's skip ahead to the next morning. As the seniors and other students of Beverly Valley High begin to show up to school, Cinnamon got her driver's license? Oh, she beat me to it. Yes, boys, I only got hotter over the summer. <clears throat> oh, wow, Cindy, I didn't see your whole outfit in the car. You look spicy. Thanks for stating the obvious, Rue. You're welcome. Here with me, your breath is hot. You are the stranger in the corner on the set. Have you heard of waiting? You look amazing, La Cienega. Tell me something I don't know. I mean, coming from you, that's such a compliment. I've never seen purple been done so well. I have to steal your your wardrobe. Why did you both get a room? Really? I mean, if you want. Huge fan, sick song. Been jamming to it all summer. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm taken. I have a boyfriend. What is she saying? <gasps> oh, I feel so famous. Oh, I remember that one. A proper pain in my side. Who, Tutsi? Oh, yes. Tutsi. Tootsie, Tootsie, I'm a huge fan. When's your album coming out? Sorry, I'm late. Where were you? I had to sit on the bus with Melvin. It was disgusting. Oh, Dad drives me. Uh, that makes sense. I'm not staring at you. Yeah, it's because I'm famous now, Rhea. With the music video, the concert, I'm basically Beverly Valley High's Ariana Grande. You really need to step it up. I know, I just couldn't sleep last night. I have AP Chem first period and we're doing experiments on the first day. I'm so nervous. But it's okay. I have free period next and I'll just study for my SATs. Mm. I need to work on my college application. Hey, Ria, it's the first day of school. Relax. See, this is senior year. This isn't like any other year. All this stuff matters. Oh, who's that? <laughs> is she? Pregnant? Uh. <sighs> oh, looks like someone had a big breakfast. I'm jelly. Oh my gosh, no! She's pregnant. How brave, scandalous, chic, and original. You know, when I got hair extensions, Rhea, I didn't know that that meant it would always be in my face. <gasps> Candy! Wow, she looks really good. Hey, Candy with K. Hey, hey. girl, we're both famous. Stop. To try hard? Okay. A little bit. I haven't seen Candy with a K in so long. She looks hot. Hey, Marlene, you 
song amazing. Look, it's blue. Oh. Blue. So fake. Why are they ignoring us? Maybe she can't hear us. I just realized I haven't heard from Strawberry in a really long time. She hasn't replied to any of my snaps. That's really weird. Maybe something's going on at home. You know, like a family emergency. They're just busy. Huh. <gasps> yeah. Look. Is that Strawberry? She looks different. I mean, the green's a weird color to pick, especially that shade. You took the words right out of my mouth. Ugh, why are they looking at me? Fake. I can't believe it's Strawberry's last year of school. Thank God it's Cinnamons, though. Sophomore year is gonna be so fun. Beverly Valley High students. Please do not enter the building. We regret to inform you that we are currently experiencing a code green in the school. And as a result, the school day has been canceled. What? Please return home and we will send out an update as to when school will reopen. Thank you. Nice! I wasn't even planning on going today anyways! Sick! <laughs> My life only gets better when school starts. Great, now another sucky day. <laughs> Take me home. <sighs> Are they serious? At least I get to pick out another first day of school outfit. No! Yes! I'm already behind on the curriculum! You're such a loser! Yeah. This is the best first day ever! Yay! This is the longest summer vacation ever! Sydney, let's go to the mall! Or the ice cream shop! <laughs> it's my last year at BBH. Time to make it memorable. <laughs> Leaving? Wait for me! Is everything okay? <laughs> Rose your pants down! Ain't they putting me in an ambulance? <gasps> to explain what happened to Rasha, we need to go back in time a bit. Rasha had quite the summer. On top of his imposed homework regimen, Rasha tried to work so he could bolster his resume and college applications. After struggling to get enough sign-ups for his tutoring gig, Rasha tried working at Jenny and Penny's farm. After that didn't work out, his parents enrolled him in Hindi classes as a way to keep him occupied. Can somebody please tell me what the weather outside is right now in Hindi? You in the back. Bar, barish ho hai. Not you, Raja. You, Nisha. I'm pretty sure I raised my hand. Hey, turn around. Okay, this is class. So have some class, yeah? Sorry. To Raja's parents' relief, Raja really started to like his Hindi classes. Although Raja could always speak Hindi, years of speaking English had weakened his grasp on the language. Also, writing Hindi was something he struggled with. But now he made strides to learn as quickly as possible. What's your problem? Uh, no problem, uh, just grammar problem. Same. Sorry, I might be a little bit distracted. Oh yes, silly me. Your mind must be on the test today. I don't want to bother you. I just want to give you this. It is a poem in Hindi. I wrote it for you. But I guess it is also an exercise for today's test. <laughs> oh, so you wrote this for school, huh? Trying to show that you're smarter than everybody else? No, that is not what I'm trying to say. Mainly I wrote it for you. What lies? Why don't you get lost, huh? If I turn the GPS off my phone, mummy will panic. Still 
Unfortunately, Raj's parents soon came to regret signing him up for Hindi class, as he took to correcting their Hindi now that he was more brushed up on it. Needing a break from Rasha, so they could get some enjoyment out of their hard-earned summer. Rasha's parents heard of a trip some parents were organizing and hastily signed their son up for it. This trip would ultimately be disastrous for Rasha, and he would be bedridden for a few days as a result. His parents withdrew him from Hindi class. And hearing of this, Nisha would visit him to make sure everything was okay. Yes, Auntie G, I promise I will not make him upset too much. Am I dreaming? Or are you really here? Yes, yes, I'm here. <sighs> yes? Oh, I mean, that's cool. I thought you didn't care for me. I thought you didn't care for me. First you write me a sweet mom in Hindi, and then you read it. Yes, of course I read it, but there were a few mistakes. Unless you really think that my eyes look like garbage piles. I knew I did the wrong conjugation. Yeah, and then you go missing for a few days and then I find out that your parents took you out of class. And then when I come here, you've been in bed for three days. I did not know I was going to the wilderness. One day I woke up and mommy and papa said, pack your bags. I said, okay. I thought I was going to see some colleges I want to apply to. Later I found out it was going to be the worst trip ever. Well, okay. I told my parents I was going to the store. I didn't know you were sick, so I have to be back soon. But tomorrow, I'll make an excuse and make some more time. And who knows, if you're lucky, maybe I'll bring you some food and then you can tell me about your trip. I'm a vegetarian. You must know. I didn't say for sure I was bringing food. Only maybe. Don't get carried away now. Oh, sorry. Okay, I will see you tomorrow, okay? Oh, and please don't die until I tell you. I will. Or I won't. Whatever you say. Nisha would visit Rasha, and the two would quickly become close. As Nisha was new to the area, Rasha was the first real friend she had. It was obvious that she accepted Rasha as more than just a friend, but with her being a recent immigrant from a strict family, Rasha was careful not to rush into things too quick, like putting a label on it. I can't believe out of all people, you would visit me while I was not well. Why? I don't know, I just felt like you didn't like me in class. I thought you were charming. But you know, with boys, you never know what you're going to get. It's just being protective of myself. Even a rose comes with thorns, na? I understand. But why are you taking a Hindi class? You speak and write so well. Because I wanted to see what school was like here, so I could fit right in on the first day of school. <laughs> why are you smiling? <laughs> Nothing. Tell me, na? Because I am the same way. I took Hindi class so when I get back to school, I can answer questions the most quick. Also, my Hindi speaking is not very good anymore from living here for so many years. You speak just fine. Mm. You have a cute smile. Give me your phone, na. Why? Give me. Okay, smile. What? Smile! See? Very cute smile. Which brings us to earlier this morning. Eager to show off to Nisha, Rasha shows up to school extra early so he can make the necessary preparations for a science experiment. My last first day of high school. I can't believe I almost forgot these. I feel like such a noob. Where was I? Perfect. Now I just have to wait five minutes to add the compound and it will be ready to show off to my, my girlfriend. Let me put timer. Hi, it is 6 a.m. I have to call her good morning. Wait right here. Unfortunately for Rasha, someone had messed with and switched around the chemicals prior to his arrival. But luckily for him, he happened to be standing outside of the classroom. Bye. What did that smell? It smells like... <gasps> no, it cannot be! <laughs> what happened? Is he okay? 
They say that he snuck into the school to do some science experimental thingy, but somehow something went wrong. And the ambulance people said that if he was in the class for a while, the explosion happened, he could have, I can't say it, Jenny, Rosa could have died. Oh. Well, not died, but he would have smelled bad for a real long time, like a skunk. Yeah. And the cam room smelled so bad that it leaked into the hallways. That's why they shut the school down. Leah, yeah, weren't you supposed to be in the classroom? Yeah, but I decided not to go in early. Oh no, what hospital is my baby in? Yo, baby. <sighs> They took him home. The ambulance people saw that he passed out, but his parents didn't have enough room in their car to leave him flat. So the ambulance took him home. Oh, I know exactly where that is. I'm coming for you, Raja. <laughs> this is too much. This is too much for me. <laughs> the love of my life. Love of your life is the love of my life. Oh, Kitty, yeah. yeah, we need each other right now. Oh, yes. If you need me, I'll be shopping. Cindy, you should as well. Yeah. Jesse, you should go visit Roger at home. It'll mean a lot to him. Yeah, you're right. Okay. I'm still gonna try to get inside of school. Really? I actually found Victorian this year. See you around. <laughs> we should go visit him. <gasps> we should. Go, go. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid Raja ruining the first day of school and stealing all my thunder. And now everyone's pretending they care about him. He's not gonna get away with it that easily. Now I care too. Who's that? Get away from my man, you beautiful homewrecker! Raja, baby, I'm 12 months pregnant with twins and you're the father! Oh, she's pregnant? She is not pregnant, Jenny. If you know what's good for you, you'll back off, witch! Looks like Raja got himself a new girlfriend? No, I'm happy for him because I have a boyfriend. Your parents said you didn't want visitors, but we had to check up on you. And do you remember all the fun times we had at the farm together when you would milk Betsy our cow's udders? You remember this? Raja was milking someone's udders? Wait a second, isn't that... Nah, there's no way. She's much more prettier. Okay, baby, now go get some rest and feel much better. You two are a mess. Move. Hey, Raja. Congrats on your new relationship. I'm really happy for you. And totally thank you for canceling the first day of school. And you? Love the outfit. Let me know where you got it from. Okay, bye. Let's go home, Penny. If we get back now, we can make a fresh batch of ice cream to eat away our feelings. I was thinking the same thing. Yes, because we share the same brain. We're twins. Jeannie, how many times have I told you it doesn't work like that? No, I think it does. I believe. Ice cream? That sounds pretty good right about now. Hey, Tweedledee and Tweedledum, wait for me. Everything okay? Yeah, of course. Who are all those people? They're just some people from school. But uh, they're all girls. Our school is very kind to each other. That is one. Are they all your girlfriends? What? No. Well, two of them were my girlfriends. Two? Two of them? No, what am I? Look, I'm not stupid, okay? Just when you think you found yourself a decent boy, they go and show their true colors. Look, if you want to play these games, then please find someone else because I'm not interested. It is not like that. 
You're the only one. I promise. I don't know. I I think we should slow down. No. Um see you at school, okay? No, I you What just happened? Even though Rhea didn't get her surprise in camp class, it still wasn't a bad day. Code green. <laughs> How fitting. Oh look, Cinnamon posted something. I'm surprised I haven't blocked her yet. Oh no, Raja? Something happened to him? Oh my god, oh my god. He doesn't have camp class till next semester. Maybe this was for something else? Okay, calm down. I have to go speak to him. Strawberry? You look... Uh... You look... Stunning. <laughs> I know. What happened to you today? I was preparing an experiment in the morning. And I made a mistake. Which I don't understand how that could have happened. I'm sure I did everything correctly. You didn't make a mistake? I'm so sorry. I thought it was Rhea working in the lab this morning. If I knew it was you... <laughs> I wouldn't have done that. I'm so sorry, baby. You know how I feel about you. What do you mean? Look, I don't want to be angry. Who are you? Who is that? She's my girlfriend. <sighs> I'm so happy for you, Raja. Truly. I'll see you at school. You're new here, so let me give you a piece of advice. Watch your back. Raja's mine. Oh, you're so pretty. She's my oldest friend. Boyfriend, we because... shut up, virgin. Can we focus? <sighs> hey guys, I hope you enjoyed our first day of school, first day of senior year. Oh, yeah. I mean, it wasn't really our first day because you know everything that happened with Raja, but still, thank god. I was so excited for this year, it's going to be insane. Insane, the membrane <laughs> prom graduation. Oh, thank goodness, once graduation hits, I'm going on my world tour. This year's gonna be so stressful <laughs> applying to colleges. Ew, not for me. That's we're going to college. <laughs> Correction, you're going to college. I'm opening for Ariana Grande until I can get enough fans for my world tour. <laughs> we want you to comment down below what you think is going to happen in senior year because I don't think you can guess. It's going to be crazy. Oh, I am just so excited for prom. I'm going to look so hot. I just have to find... Oh, wait, I have a prom date. <laughs> my boyfriend. Who's your prom date? I mean, it's still the beginning of the year, Tootsie. We don't have much time, Ria. It took me like 17 years to find a prom date. You've got like nine months. I don't know what you're going to do. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And we will see you next time. We will see you next time. I hope you come back.